Hi, this is Sandeep Jali and Manos Brilakis, presenting case 278 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of inadvertent, extreme variation of the Carlino technique. The patient was a young gentleman who had a positive stress test and was subsequently found to have two vessel disease with a right coronary lesion that was successfully stented and an LAD CTO that could not be recanalized. As a result, the patient was referred to our center in an attempt to recanalize the LAD CTO. This is the dual injection. What we have is a CTO of the mid LAD right after the takeoff of a fairly large uh, diagonal branch. The distal vessel is filling mainly via psilateral collaterals that go way back. And this is the same thing in the LAO cranial projection. Again, we do have uh, a fairly large dominant right coronary artery that has been successfully stented. And we have uh, the blunt proximal cap, relatively short length, diagonal in the proximal cap. This is the coronary CT that demonstrates a fairly heavy calcification within the area of the occlusion. So to summarize, what we have is a blunt proximal cap, short length, good quality distal vessel, and filling mainly via ipsilateral epicardial collaterals. Therefore, our plan for crossing the LADCTO was to try first undergrade. If the undergrade wiring did not work, then try undergrade sexual reentry. If that didn't work, then leave as the last option and attempt to go retrograde through the epicardial collaterals. So we did bring a microcatheter. We did place a safety wire within the diagonal branch to make sure we don't compromise patency of this branch. And then we did uh, undergrid wiring attempts. We use a Gaia X2, but uh, the Gaia X2 is not located within uh, the lumen. It seems to be in the extra plug position. So what to do next? The options are to attempt re-entry or to do parallel wiring. So we did uh, attempt parallel wire in this case. We brought a second microcatheter and tried again with another Gaia next to wire, which are very directable, to direct it uh, along the course of the vessel. So what we're doing here is the seesaw technique, which means doing parallel wiring with uh, two separate microcatheters, whereas in the classic parallel wire, the first wire is left in place and only one microcatheter is used over the second guide wire. And we also have the situation where we have uh, done undergrade wiring. This is the global CTO crossing algorithm. We tried undergrade wiring. We did, uh, we failed. We went extra plaque. We did try parallel wiring. That did not work. And then the options are to either, guide, either try IVUS guided reentry or to use ADR. So we decided to use uh, undergraded section reentry. We exchange for a Gladius Mongo guide wire, which advances now nicely along the course of the vessel, and it's dancing well with the vessel. And then we try to re-enter using the double blind stick and swap technique. We have a guy next to alternating with the pilot 200, and we also advanced a guide extension in order to prevent formation of the hematoma. However, we forgot that all the collaterals were actually coming ipsilaterally, so there was an inadventure injection through the guide and the guide extension, which creates this uh, large extra plaque hematoma. Essentially, this is an accidental mega carlino uh, with uh, the dissection going essentially almost all the way down to the apex of the heart. So now we have a problem because we've essentially tremendously enlarged the extra plaque space, which makes re-entry very challenging. We did try to re-enter in a different location. This is the so-called bobsled technique, which was unsuccessful. And this is the IVUS, which confirms what we already know. That is, we have a large uh, hematoma. And this is the diagonal of the proximal cap. So what to do next? We decided to try the epicardial collateral. However, this was not as favorable as we had thought on the diagnostic angiogram, and we were actually unable to get through that epicardial collateral. So that left us with the option of either doing investment, just knuckle and get some flow, but 
really don't like to do investment procedures, that is a star technique in the LAD because of the multiple septal and diagonal branches. So instead, what did we do? We decided to decompress the hematoma by doing the so-called straw technique. And straw technique is advancing a microcatheter into the extra plug space and non-spirating. And we did a more extreme form of this, which is by advancing a, a stingray and putting a penumbra pump on the um, uh, on the side port of the stingray balloon. So we use an extra tui, and now we are aspirating uh, through the stingray balloon trying to decompress that hematoma. We also have a proximal balloon that is blocking entrance of the contrast down to the mid LED. And after doing this, we tried again the re-entry with uh, the stingray balloon, and now we were able to successfully enter into the distal truluma. So this is the illustration of what happened. We did have a large hematoma, which we created accidentally by doing this mega Carlino. And then by using the penumbra pump and the balloon more proximally, we were able to aspirate the hematoma, re-expand the distal lumen, and then we were able with the same stingray balloon to re-enter into the distal trilumen. We place uh, a stent uh, jailing uh, the proximal uh, diagonal at the proximal cap, and this restored flow. There did remain some uh, hematoma distally. If you recall, there was a dissection all the way to the apex, so no surprise that we still have some extra plaque hematoma. So we did uh, balloon angioplasty. Cutting balloon angioplasty can be done in this setting, but we did get Timothy flow, and uh, we decided to let the vessel uh, recover and heal spontaneously over time. So multiple lessons. The first one is that one has to be very careful injecting during CTO PCI through the CTO donor through the CTO vessel guide catheter. Here we did have an injection when we had a guide extension in that goes an extensive extra plaque hematoma that made everything very challenging. The solution was to do the straw technique, which is placing a balloon more proximal to prevent the flow of blood inside the extra plug space, and then aspirate. And we also use the penumbra pump to provide extra suction to aspirate the hematoma in the middle LED to then allow re-entry into the distal trilumen with a stingray balloon. Thank you.